ECOWAS Commission is not usually associated with popular culture or even with the promotion of the traditional cultures of its component states. But its two pageants mounted in Port Harcourt, first in 2008 and then again in 2009, have changed that perception irrevocably. The River State Governor, Right Honorable Chibuike Rotimi Ameji, as the host of the second ECOWAS Peace and Beauty pageant, struck a note of fellowship and welcome that enhanced the seriousness of purpose, even while setting the stage for the higher standards of entertainment for a large and sophisticated audience. Mr. Secretary of State Government and his wife, commissioners and their spouses, members of the State Assembly and their spouses, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Let me thank ECOWAS for the privilege of having to host this pageant a second time, especially the President for coming with his colleagues in ECOWAS and reassure everybody that we will have a wonderful show this night. I've seen the young girls, they are quite beautiful. <laughs> them in my office. Let me congratulate the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for the wonderful show that the Eagles put up. I thank the management or the organizers of this show and I wish everybody, including Nigeria, best of luck. Thank you very much. Even the beauty pageant provided an education for the audience as the contestants displayed some of the traditional costumes of their home countries. With the success of this outing, the ECOWAS Commission's impact has been felt, not just in the hallowed halls of international diplomacy, but at the grassroots as well through its sponsorship of a night of glorious entertainment with a purpose that transcended the mere provision of pleasure. Contestant from Nigeria, Miss Obasi Joy Ngosika. African queen, no that is means that you only wanted While the parade of beauties contesting for the ECOWAS Peace Ambassador crowd formed the central event of each show, in 2009, the underlying themes of peace and youth empowerment were reinforced by the presentation of goodwill ambassadorships to two illustrious popular artists of the global African community. The Ivorian, Alpha Blondie, and Jamaican legend, Jimmy Clee. Blondie has an experience with Clint Hunt, a record producer in the US that influenced his life. The young Jimmy Cleave had a good relationship with his parents, who he remained and called Hero and Shiro. Hey you! I'm up from the bayou. Where wildlife runs free. You could say that I'm country. But let me tell you what I see.
it is not below 40. You agree? Yeah. Because of what? These are places of the 60s, early 70s. So anybody who jumped up is either 40 or 42. The last time I saw her, the psychiatric hospital, the psychiatric hospital, the psychiatric hospital, the psychiatric hospital now. Cause I love you, Rainbow. Yes, I love you, Rainbow. Yes, I love you, Rainbow. Never leave me rainbow now. You got to leave me rainbow, yo. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> 